we can create meaningful jobs, rebuilding our society, or we can build more jails. Let us create a society of hope and compassion, not one of hate and vengeance. I think that the people in this institution and in the White House are really losing contact and not knowing what's going on with the American people. In case you don't know, and you haven't seen the latest polls, the American people hold the President of the United States in contempt. They hold this institution in contempt. They hold the Republican Party in contempt. They hold the Democratic Party in contempt. They think that maybe, given all of the crises facing this country, it's about time that there was some bold leadership here and that this institution made some hard choices. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders kicked off his campaign for president. He's a long shot. A long shot. I don't think he's going to be taken too credibly. Bernie Sanders is a socialist, for God's sake. Sunday, Bernie Sanders expected to attract thousands of supporters at the Moda Center. A massive crowd for Bernie Sanders overnight. It was a record-breaking weekend for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. More than 20,000 people, as we said, turned out to see Sanders speak. Our job is to build a nation in which we all stand together as one people. Americans love authenticity and they think there's not a lot of it in politics today. And Bernie Sanders, like him or not, is authentic. In my view, the issue of wealth and income inequality is the great moral issue of our time. And we are going to inject the issue of morality into politics today. Hillary Clinton certainly is feeling the burn. That's because her Democratic challenger, Bernie Sanders, is igniting a flame of voter support. He's passed her just now in Iowa. In some polls, he's actually ahead of her. And if we look at a, a national map, we can see that the highest number of searches were around Bernie Sanders. And you can see that across the country. As quickly as you can, tell me why you believe Bernie's the man. Dr. King, in his last two years of life, talked about a poor people's campaign, organizing unions on the behalf of poor workers, organizing against a war machine that was perpetuating violence in Vietnam. Bernie Sanders is the only politician who has consistently, for 50 years, taken that social justice platform into politics. And right now, we have an opportunity to elect someone who is directly out of the philosophy of Kingian nonviolence. We can directly elect someone that cares about poor people, cares about women, gay, black rights, cares about lives that don't look like he is and this opportunity in history is not going to come in another 20 years not going to come in another two years so Extraordinary things.